welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today, first thing I need to do is apologize for the fact that I'm probably glowing. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. The sun is low in the sky. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's only 70 degrees out here, but it is 94% humidity. I tried to get out here as early as I could to get this uh, get this handled today. So uh, forgive me if I glow. I'll try to do something in post, but I don't know that I can. Um, but today, what we are going to be doing is going through the back benchers. Now, we know that the little green nuke who moved into Air Force is gone. Well, now we have lost the Marines as well. So the Air Force and the Marines have been taken out of the game. Uh, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, but we are going to go through Army and Navy, do full inspections today, try to find the Queen, and uh, then we'll take it from there. But while I get my gear on, have a look at these pictures. These were sent in by a gentleman named, well, I guess his, his, his YouTube handle is SVT Cobra Strike. I'll put it down there and in the description. Uh, he has sent me some pictures of some beautiful hives. He used a uh, Japanese technique called Sugiban. I've seen a few other folks out there do it, and uh, it, it produces beautiful hives, brilliantly colored. They're really, really nice. So have a look at those. I'll get the smoker lit, the headband on, the cage around my head, and then we'll dive into the bees. <laughs> glowing I can see the sun coming through right here but we're gonna do the best we can hi girls coming in so now let's have a look in here hi girls yeah that bucket is empty for sure okay one thing I'm not seeing oh there's one hive beetle I was going to say is a lot of hive beetles because I have the traps in there, but there are a few. Okay, girls, how's everything going? How you doing? How are you doing? I see a couple of girls patrolling the beetle traps. It tells me that they've chased some beetles in there. Okay, well, let's uh, let's have a look. See what we can see. We have a gander. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull some of these traps so I don't spill oil in your hive. Let me see what kind of uh, kind of job you've been doing with the bee. Oh, look at that. It must be. I mean, there's not quite a gazillion. I mean, there's 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 quite a few beetles in there. All right, girls. You have a look in this one. Oh, I see a hive beetle larva. That's not a good sign. Okay, a lot of hive beetles in there as well. That's good. Okay, we have a few beetles in there. That's good. Like I said, I don't like oil traps, but I tell you what, they are effective. They do work. So I've only seen one rogue beetle in this hive, but boy, I tell you what, I've seen... Oh, there's another one right there. There's two rogue beetles. Now, they're both dead, but a lot of these beetles are in the trap. You got to give it the beetle blaster. I mean, they work. All right. So I don't see a lot of anything here. Well, there's some, there's a couple frames there with some activity. Let's just, uh, let's go through it and see what we can see here. Certainly don't want to get stung today. Okay. Nothing crazy happening there. Nothing crazy happening there. I'm so happy not to see wax moths. Um, because if you notice right next to me here, the, um, the Marine hive is gone. Well, we talked about it in the opening. Well, if you remember the resource hive, the side that had the the wax moth web in it, I just took that frame out and I didn't check the rest of the frames for eggs or for any more infestation. I just kind of moved the frames into this hive and this hive was completely taken over by wax moths. I mean, I even had to destroy the comb. I couldn't even melt it down. It was that bad. So. So another error on my part. I should have uh, should have given them fresh comb once I saw that, and I didn't. So I can tell you this: in the future, if I see that again, I will be removing the bees in their entirety from the comb that they have and give them fresh comb to draw out or to to lay in, even if it means sacrificing a little bit of brood. 
because I don't know how to stop a wax moth infestation after it's already happened inside your hive. Now, if anybody out there has any ideas or knows how, do me a favor, let me know. I saw a video by Mike Berry uh, over the weekend. I think it was his last week's video where he was talking about the wax moths. Um, but I don't think he has or gave a solution as to how to control them once they've gotten into an active hive. Um, he did show how to control them and keep them off, off of your, your pooled wax over the winter. And I'm going to be using his uh, moth crystals idea um, to try to save as much of my comb as I can. But the, uh, the wax moths, once they get in a hive, it spelled doom for the Marines. I mean, it wiped them out. So now we've got the Army and the Navy back here. That's it. Hey, they're drawing comb here. This is a good, good sign. I mean, it's hard to tell on this white foundation, but they are pulling comb on both sides. So that is good. These girls, they're doing what they need to do. So we have one of those cicadas right there in the pear tree. And it's singing, so I apologize for that. I'll tell you the one thing that the cicadas are good for. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're good for a lot of things. But the one thing that they're, uh, they really help me with is editing. They make it impossible for me to do an edit. Because they have this loud noise, and then all of a sudden it stops. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful frame. That is gorgeous. I don't see the queen on there. That is a beautiful frame. Same thing on the other side. Beautiful frame. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey girls, we're just gonna set you right there for a moment. Alright, Navy Hive. What do you have to show me? We saw some brood upstairs. What do you have downstairs? Hello. 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 Let me get my fingers in there. Get your little fingers in there. No need to be alarmed. Okay, that. That is a very nice frame. We have some, some capped honey, just a little bit. They're all running lean. I have some. We're going to give them some more food today, I can tell you that. I'll be making some sugar, sugar syrup and doing some internal feeding. I don't like to feed in the fall, but these guys need it, or these girls need it. So we will give them some, some food on their internal bucket feeder. I'm going to kick off a robbing situation, and I'm very fortunate. Oh, there's a hive beetle. There's a dead hive beetle. So now we got that one that was running around. So, so far, this hive is almost beetle-free when I'm done with it here. We're wiping them out as we see them. So far, I haven't missed any. Okay, there's some more brood and some more honey. You don't see the queen on there. There's some more brood. And some more honey. A little bit. These girls need fed. That is for sure. And they will get food today. Yeah. Let me get my fingers in there. Let me, uh, let me put my digits in there. Thank you. Okay, okay, so that's a brood frame. We have some, some brood in there and some honey. Same there. I do not see the queen yet. Okay, I do not see the queen. And if I remember, this queen was a small queen. Now she is laying, and her pattern on those upper frames is pretty good. So I think she's gonna be good enough to get these girls through the winter. Okay. Okay, there's another nice front. There's our queen. There she is, right there in the middle. She is a beauty. There she is. All right, Navy Queen. We're going to get out of your box. I need to see no more. I need to see no more. We've eliminated every hive beetle we've seen. We've seen the queen. And we will give these girls some food. There you go. Oops. 
Oops, we don't want to smash anybody here. Underneath, let's get, it's time to get out. There you go. Okay, so the Navy Hive is in great shape. All right, let's jump in here really quick. Sorry about the glowing. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Hi, right, girls. Coming in. Don't sting me. Oh, hive beetle. Dead hive beetle. Any more? Nope, oh, just one. That's good. Good news. Let's have a look. Hi, right, girls. Make sure we do not have a queen. Through here. And I do not see her. They have finished their bucket of syrup. See how the I've got some bees guarding the hive beetle traps. They're, they're looking down in there to make sure the hive beetles don't get out. So I think we can say that the guardian is working here as well. Not the guardian. Uh, I think we can say that the guardian's not doing what I thought it would do. I think uh, beetle blaster oil traps are doing what they're supposed to do. Well, I tell you what, this is why I don't like using them. I just can't get them out that easily. I do not want to spill this in the hive because that is bad mojo. Okay, oh, only a few beetles. That is much different than I expected. I expected to see a lot of beetles. Only a handful. Oh, there's one beetle right there. All right, that is some beautiful comb. Now this, I think, this, oh, there's some hive beetles in there. All right, I see a couple of them. I'm going to go uh, do some exterminating. All right, excellent. All right, those hive beetles are gone. There must have been 15 or 20 on there. But I have discovered that hive beetles, given the opportunity, they will run out of the comb and onto the edges of the frame. When you're holding them in the light, they try to get away, and that's a perfect time to smash them. Give them the old smash -aroni. All right, girls, there we go. I hope that was hive beetle jail. Let's see what we can see here. That is a nice frame. Okay, that's a frame of, uh, of food. I don't see any eggs on it. More food. Okay. Okay, this next one looks like a frame of food. I think they were uh, storing everything that we gave them in that bucket feeder up here. Because they seem to have plenty of... Well, this is a light frame. I guess they don't want plenty as a... It's a pretty drastic word. They don't have plenty of food, but they've got some food in here. That last frame was very heavy. Don't see the queen here. Where do I see any eggs? I do see some capped brood on this next frame. Okay, ooh, there's a nice frame, capped brood. The other side. Very nice. I don't see any queen. That's okay. We know for a fact she's in here. This next frame has some nice comb on it, or nice uh, brood. Let's see what we got here, girls. Lovely. So the queen is doing a good job here as well. I don't see her on there. Look at that side. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I wouldn't expect to see her on these frames either um, because they're, they're mostly capped. And it looked like they were capped a while ago. Okay, another beautiful frame. Look at that. Same thing on the other side. Gorgeous. a nice frame of drawn comb. You don't see the queen laying on it. I do not see her laying on this side either. Let's see if I can see any eggs in here. Yeah. 
even if there were, I don't think I would be able to see them. White foundation, white comb, and bright sun, and bad eyeballs. That's why I like using the, uh, I like using that black foundation. It makes it very easy to see eggs. There we go, girls. What are you girls doing here? Oh, there's a hive beetle. Oh, he got away. That one got away. I went to give it the squash and it slipped between my fingers. So we have an escapee. Are there more hive beetles? Oh, there's where the, there's the hive beetle jail. Right there. So there's a dead one. There's a dead one. There's a dead one. There's a dead one. All right, that's why those girls were right there. That was their hive beetle jail. So we've killed five. And one escapee. Let's see if there's any on this frame. Okay, I don't see any hive beetles, so let's look for the queen. All right. So do we see a queen on here? I do not. All right, show me. Your queen or evidence? Wow, look at all those bees. They've got to get this drawn out. I don't see a queen on there. I've had no, no robbing attempts on this hive so far. Oh, okay, there's some brood. So we may see a queen on this frame. Let's look around here. If you see her, call her out in the comments, because I may miss her. Let's see her on this side. She has recently been here. Let's go to the other side. Right, she has recently been here. Do we see her anywhere? If I find her in the edit, I'll put a circle on her. There's a lot of bees on this frame. Okay. Don't see her there. Okay, this it's a heavy frame. There's a lot of brood on it. I haven't seen it yet. Oh no. There's some brood on it. Can we see the queen? Do not see the queen moving around on that side. We see her moving around here. Again, if you see the queen, please call her out in the comments. Go again to your next frame there. You're doing a great job not stinging me so far, Army. If you sting me, I don't think I have a stingometer for the Army hive, so we will have to use the green hive, but let's not do that. Okay, they're drawing comb out there. Let's see if we can see the queen. Don't. I don't see any eggs laid in there. This is a black foundation so I can see when they lay eggs in there. Let's take a look at this side. Uh, okay, they're storing a lot of pollen in here. I don't see any... Uh, oh, they're storing some of that pollen sub. So these girls found it. because It's bright yellow. All right, girls. Put this back in. Okay, do we see the queen? See some brood right in the center. I tell you what, doing this is killing my back. Yeah. Ooh, there's quite a bit of brood on this side. Okay. I do not see the queen. Doesn't mean she wasn't on that frame, it just means that I didn't eyeball her. We know that we have a queen in here. We can tell by the all the eggs and Larva in the hive, we have a queen in here. Definitely no doubt about that. Okay, there is a hive beetle. Oh, that bee grabbed it and jumped down to the bottom of the hive. That was, that's, that was neat. Okay, what do we have on here? Some kind of cattywampus comb they're pulling out. This was a janked up frame that they're fixing. So they will fix janky comb. 
the other side. I do not see the queen. Right. Oh, I see a hive beetle. I'm going to give it the old smasheroni. Fortunately, I did not see the queen on this frame, but I did kill probably about 20 hive beetles. Oh, there's another one. Get that. 21. Oh, make that 22. Make that 23. Son of a gun. Okay, I got all but a all but a handful of this hive. I'm going to give them another beetle trap. We're going to go ahead and put this hive back together. Again, we did not see the queen in this box. Now, if you saw her, do me a favor, leave it in the comments. I would like to go back and look. If I find her during the edit, I'll put a circle on her so we can see her. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. I really appreciate you coming along to see it. Um, the Army and the Navy Hive, they're doing great. Marines, they're gone. The Wax Moths got them. And the week before, well, looks like the Hive Beetles or the other bees robbed out the, uh, the Air Force. So now we just have Army and Navy on the back bench, but they're doing well. We saw the Navy Queen. We didn't see the, uh, we didn't see the Army Queen. If you see her in the video, do me a favor, call her out in the comments so that I can go back and see her as well. If I find her in the edit, I'll do the same and put a circle on her so that you can see her. Um, but all in all, everything looks good back there. A lot of hive beetles, but the beetle traps, the oil traps, they're, they're working. They've always worked. They're going to continue to work. I just don't like putting oil in my hives, but they do work. We killed about 98% of the beetles that we found in the hives that did not find their way in the oil trap. So next time we check on that hive, it should be in really good shape. So with all that said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you have something to say. Or if you see the queen, do me a favor, leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. only takes a second. Ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. We try to have fun and, and keep it light here. Um, but with all that said, I want you to be happy. And I'll see you next time. Take care.